Okay, so now let's get back to Michael's home. Uh -huh. let's, let's go back and tour the rest and see how details have made a big, big difference in your home. This is, okay, these, these couple of, what we're going to see now are some of the rooms that nobody gets to see. So if you were a guest at my home, this is where you would stay. The, uh, this, is, this is the guest room where we, we the, as you can clearly see, the bedding is the reverse of the fabric on the uh, draperies. And it is a room, frankly, it's all about black, white, and red. <laughs> Those are the only three colors in the whole room. You this, are definitely not a shrinking uh, wallflower there. Michael, not at all. This personality I, from color. I wanted to make sure that anybody staying at my house never forgot the <laughs> never forgot it. <laughs> and so we actually it's a room with windows on three sides. And so we've got these um, these sort of Roman shades over some of them. We've got uh, uh, rods, you know, panels of draperies open uh, uh, over uh, the door to the outside and other windows. And so all in all, we basically used just about every window treatment that almost exists in this, this single room. And uh, I have to point out, I just have to point out, because I do this for a living, the pattern matches the top treatment, the shade, everything is lined up exquisitely. I love that about it. Well, the beauty of working with Deanne, our exciting windows design consultant, was she was, a, I told a million times, the best, the best I've ever worked with. She is indicative of all such consultants, where she was absolutely insistent that there was, there was pattern matching everywhere. It was, it was across the board, and I absolutely love those attentions to detail. And then, because of what we were doing, then she introduced me and brought to my attention some of the suppliers of things like rods and finials and at that I wasn't even aware of at all. But this is why she was so valuable, because she brought to me her world of expertise, a lifetime of doing this for a living, and they don't get any better. And you can see at the bottom how that the finials, the, the actual rings, even matched, can you believe, the finials the on post. top of my my four poster bed, which I designed. So. Yep. I, I love that. I love that. Um, right. In this next picture, um, you have really the best of both worlds. You've got privacy, but you also did it, you and Deanne, in a way that gave function and beauty. Ah, the bathroom. The bathroom directly off the very bedroom we were in which is a magnificent, if I may say, light-filled room. There are windows on three walls, and you're looking out onto the backyard filled with trees and flowers. It's really quite lovely, but it is, after all, a bathroom. And so <laughs> privacy is an issue. Also, you're, so, so what we have is we have these very sort of soft Roman sort of valances, and underneath is our hidden these roller shades of the same matching fabric. And I just love that, because when they're in their down position, they are just as lovely with when the, as when they're in the up position. I mean, so they disappear, and then they appear whenever you need them. You'll also notice that I kept it very simple. There's hardly a tassel visible. OK, yes, to pull the roller blinds down, <laughs> you, you have to pull a tassel. You okay, had to I, give in just one I little did. place. I but did. you did a fabulous job with <laughs> function and beauty. You did you you met light control privacy, but you did it in a beautiful way here in that bathroom. Thank you. That's I mean that's really what fine design is all about. First of all, it's got to work. And then secondly, it's gotta look beautiful. And and this is a room very few people see. Now we are in the master bedroom. We are in the master bedroom. And yes, my wife very much got her, her way here as far as decorative touches are concerned. And there are some absolutely beautiful, beautiful trims with lots and lots of little tassels, not only on the bedding, which Deanne was also responsible for, all the window coverings. And, and 
So we have this, again, a, a room with windows on three walls. This is the master bed, bed, but master bed, master bed and the little fireplace. The, here are some two pairs of French doors going on out onto a balcony held back. As you can see, the tie backs have one of the most beautiful tassels I, have, I even I will freely admit I, I've ever seen. <laughs> and once again, giving in. absolutely, this is Janice's room. And then, um, then we've got the detail of that rod and the finial. This time, in the the rod stain matching all of my furniture, and also then the gold picking up the gold in the tassels, the gold in the walls. I mean, the the rods and the finials and the rings are in themselves little little works of art, and those little posts that the tie backs go onto are equally stunning, just stunning. And but I noticed your the drapery. I mean, these actually open and close. This is not just for you know for looks. These every night work. Every, every night. night they are closed because and they're black outlined. So this room is really, really dark and wonderfully dark, and so completely and totally functional. And then this. This is the very reason. This is the reason that I am speaking to everybody today as for my love of exciting windows because it is that window that we are looking at there that was the motivation for me meeting Deanne in the first place. I bring to everybody's attention, look closely directly below that window. Yes, it's a staircase. It's the staircase going down. And as I just said, light control was of critical importance to me, but there was no way that you could get to that window to open or close a blind. You can't do anything manually because you're not there. You can't get close enough. And there's even that little window to the very left. It's even more difficult to get to that one. What Deanne proposed was a motorized, a motorized roller shade that, that hides underneath this beautiful red silk balance that at the touch of a remote, and have you ever met a man that didn't like a remote? And he's <laughs> the press of that one button, and every, all seven windows, the shades on all of them come down all at the same time, and it is brilliant. And they are black outlined as well. I can go from full daylight to nighttime in one press of one button. And wow. it was her wow. solving her solving of that problem that I just said you can't get better than this. Hmm. So I I'm thinking, Michael, you uh definitely expressed yourself with your beautiful window fashion. It's that's really what it's all about. It really is all about it was me being able to make a statement because this is what all of us want to do in their own their own house. You want to do something which is not, you know, it's not trying to impress the world because because in places like my master bedroom, nobody ever sees it. So it's all about making you feel custom. I mean, feeling do, doing something that's really nice for you to express who you are. It says so much about you. And so you've got to go, you've got to work with somebody who is going to be listening to you. Not that comes into your home and telling you what you should do, but listen to what you wanted. And in my, in my house, Deanne listened to exactly what I wanted. And it was all about function. It was all about beauty. It was all about, to be honest, it was all about Janice and I. And, and frankly, I wanted to work with somebody that was, could understand, could actually feed off the passion that I had for what I wanted. And boy, did she do that. She went to town, and look what I've got. It's fabulous. Well, thank you, Michael. My goodness, wouldn't it be great for all of us if we could have Michael as our personal designer? He is terrific. And Michael, I really want to thank you for uh, joining us today.